So some central banks have been voicing concern over high and rising levels of household debt. This is driven mostly by mortgages. And this special feature sets out a way to think about the issue. Well, depending on the level, the type of mortgage, and how much of a cushion of savings the household has, it will respond differently to shocks such as an interest rate hike. A household that is hit by a hike might cut spending or borrow more, except that if it already has a high debt level, lenders may not lend as readily. A household also adjusts spending more if it has an adjustable rate mortgage than if it has a fixed rate mortgage. And finally, households may adjust spending more if they're already mortgaged to the hilt and have very little in the bank accounts. Uh, because there are implications for economic and financial stability. Uh, for example, in terms of economic stability, high debt may mean that a rate hike has a bigger impact on the economy than a cut. In terms of financial stability instead, um, high debt means that some households may come under pressure to make their mortgage payments. Other households instead may cut spending and put pressure on small businesses, which could then default on their loans. The combination of these effects hurts banks. Or well, policies that slow down household debt growth, uh, uh, such as caps on the amount of money that you can borrow to buy a house, say, uh, can afford central banks space to stabilise the economy later. For example, if debt is lower, a rate cut will be more effective in stimulating growth. Macroprudential policies today can help monetary policy tomorrow.